Ron, Ron, Sa, Ron, Sahota, Ron Sahota. What do you think is the future of America and the Western civilization? Western world is in free fall economically. More than that, geopolitically, we're losing influence around the globe, like hardcore, hardcore, right? Hardcore, right? Right now in Yemen, people that Western world has been waging war on for over a decade. And if you want to know, I know you're on a sensor tube, uh, uh, Rona, but if you come to our Twitch channel, Yemen, oops, Yemen, we got a little command in, I put a little command this morning in there. Let me see if I can grab this whole thing. Okay, I'm going to grab it and I'm going to post it on the chat in sensor tube. Uh, so take a look at Hopefully this will come out. Is it going to come out? <laughs> I don't think. Moderate verified. No, I don't think this is going to come out. Not all of it anyway. Oh, it is now. Boink. Oh, how come it's not posting it? Oops. Okay, it's not. I can't post it on. Uh, basically, it's two interviews from. No. Oh, because it's too big. Hold on. I'm going to kill one of them. The one of them is Jer Jeremy Scahill here. Let me copy that. Oh, come on. You should be able to post that. Boink. Oh, what? Okay, sensor tube is not allowing me to post this stuff. It's not doing it. Sorry. You have to go to our Twitch. So it's just two interviews on what was taking place under the Obama administration with uh, Yemen, right? So just imagine the Western world with this proxy Saudi Arabia was waging war on Yemen for a decade, right? What did that do? It brought Yemenis together, made them stronger, made them strong to a level where they're opposing genocide in Israel. And the United States and the UK just declared war on Yemen. So one thing we need to do since we're talking about this, right uh, we need to update our map on this front and add UK is at war as well okay it's in a it's supporting war but it's also directly involved in war so let me just put this here we'll make it both colors so the UK is at war right So that's one update we need to do to the map. And this is a reflection of what's going to happen to the Western world, what is happening to the Western world. We're on the decline. And the global majority is on the up, right? The reason the Western world is on the decline is because we've allowed monsters looking to Epstein and if you want to look into who the monsters are that are ruling over us again there's another command we have that I put in this morning on sensor tube uh, not sensor tube on twitch where it links up to uh, article one article by Whitney Webb where you can go down the rabbit hole and you'll figure out who the monsters are that are ruling over the Western world and you'll realize what their agenda is and their agenda Initially, they were globalists that they want to rule over the globe, everything. They want the globe and everything in it, right? Like Scarface in the movie. What do you want? I want the world and everything in it. That's what they wanted, right? It didn't end well for Scarface, right? It's not going to end well for us. We're on the same path, right? But what these monsters in the Western world have began to realize is they already lost the global majority. They ain't. They ain't they ain't getting their hands on that so what they're doing is tighten the noose around our necks limiting our freedoms which they should be allowed to do as the saying goes governments should fear the citizens not the other way around citizens should not fear a government you go around anywhere in the western world right now they fear their governments right wrong way to be 
So the Western world is not a happy place. We're in deep poop. Okay, and it's up to us if we want to free ourselves from uh, this monstrosity of bureaucracy that we forced ourselves to live under. Okay.